Defeated boss in Berserk stage 5, okay. Converted kill points, okay. Dang, that's a lot of blue books. Dang, it's like 2000 blue books, dang. Okay, so in my guild, free to play, by the way, level 73, I do more than Z Pro X. Whoa, yo, what is this? Dude, how do you get 600, dude? Hey, what is up guys, Guitarok here, welcome back to another counter side video. Results for the consortium co-op is out for my guild. And this is not trying to shame anyone, I am aware that first week, some of you guys might have made mistakes, which is fine, alright, you can come up with excuse that, oh, maybe, and you can make the argument that, okay, some of these guys, maybe they auto the first week, they don't know how to do co-op boss correctly yet, which I can accept if you are at about 2000 to 3000 points. But once you go down to 1000, that's a little bit too low. Below 1k, 6, like what's the excuse here, right? I'm gonna make this guy and hopefully help a lot of you guys out there if you're still struggling. First tip, tip number one, please do not auto. Very important, do not auto. Hopefully you guys can see in my field run, even though it's a field run, it's still pretty good. I still got six plays in my. Before we jump into the run, this is the setup right here. All right, so hopefully you guys can see what are the units that's needed? So, let's jump into a couple of things. Number one, Serapel right here. But if you don't have Serapel, Liumi, perfectly fine. So, in terms of gears, just give Serapel HP, defense, HP, HP. You just need her to tank, so it's pretty straightforward. Please do not give her evasion, alright? You have to keep in mind, the boss can do quite a lot of damage at level 4, level 5 onwards. So if you think Enterprise doesn't cut it, feel free to change it to any other ships that can give you damage reduction. So uh, one very good ship would be Lake Superior, which is what I have constructed earlier today. So I'm going to do a separate video about what I think of Lake Superior and PvP. Lake Superior can give you the survivability that you need, and Lake Superior is much more flexible because this particular thing, the damage taken minus 12% affects every single unit on the field. Whereas if you were to build Glebne Armored, that one will only affect counter units. So that one might be better for PvP, but for this consortium co-op, Lake Superior is going to be quite good. Now let's talk about John Mason. And I think a lot of people don't really, don't realize what potential John Mason has. John Mason is a must-have if you're doing consortium co-op. He has this ability right here, the special skill. If you look right here, very important. Seals the damage target skills for 8 seconds. Alright, very important note right here. Sealing skill is not really unique to John Mason alone, but if you look at someone like Chifuyu for example, Chifuyu has a similar skill. Look at this skill, right here, level 5. Seals target skills for 5 seconds. But then there's an exception here. Bosses and ships excluded. So Chifuyu's skill doesn't work on bosses. Whereas, for John Mason, this particular skill it apparently works on boss. So this is a very good skill to have. So John Mason plus Young Harem, so that means he will constantly try to seal the boss whenever he can. Which is something that you want to have. Kim Sobin, just straight up very good for bosses again. Uh, Terminator, and you can see just a bunch of buffers. You want to have Xiaoyun, you want to have Maria, you want to have Shinja. So hopefully you guys get the idea. Uh, if you want to, you can go for Awakened Hilde. I do not have her, so I have no idea if she's going to work well. But yep, let's jump into the battle to give you guys the ideas on positioning. Alright, <laughs> let's just go in then. Let's just go in. Lin Sen here. Healer. That was an accident. Ah. Right, what is happening here, guys? No, not my ship. They are dying. John Mason. Alright, let's use John Mason. I'll put Kim Sobin after this. Yuna is stunned. Uh, who to use? Guess we put Sigma at the back. Alright, alright. Chifuyu. Terminator. Wait, I should have gone for Kim Sobin, right? Nice heal, nice heal. 
feel like I messed up a bit. My ship, yeah, I saw. Arius! No, I shouldn't have placed Arius right there, very bad. Is that the one the boss hit the other side? Maria? I threw Sigma into a death. Really? Can I place? There's somebody at the ship. It's lagging a bit for me. Choi Ina. Rosaria. Okay, I guess we put Roy right here. I can't really deploy Sigma, right? So there's only so much I can do. Can I get 10 million? That's my. That's all I'm hoping for. Let's try and get Xiaolin in. Raphael here with Ironside. Xiaolin? I think I think I should have used Arius. Sorry, Ares. Ares. Alright, I think we put... Put Xiaoyu now for all the buffs. It's lagging! Ah! Oh! I think we don't need Adele. My PC can't handle this. Now we put Adele. Alright, this is as much damage as I can do. Which is about 15 million, I guess. Wait, did the timer just increase? Da -da -da -da. I might have to watch that again if I make any mistake. Uh, 11 million, right? Yeah, 11 million. Yeah, so in case you guys are wondering, Rosaria did the most damage, right? Rosaria, alongside with Awaken Yomina. Wait, how did Awaken Yuna not... Oh, I think she died. I think Awaken Yuna died right there. Followed by Kim Sobin and Chifuyu. Xiaolin? Well, let's have a look at DPS. Yeah, Rifleman is more, better than Xiaolin, in case you guys are wondering. So maybe go for Rifleman instead. DPS-wise, right? She that cause of boss laser. Adele is actually not bad actually. I only use her at the end, all the way at the end. Alright guys, so with that being said, hopefully you guys get a better idea on how to do console team co-op. So that was a level 4 boss that I showed you guys earlier. Obviously level 5, level 6 and 7, those are going to do even more damage. So I'm excited for this week's one. Hopefully, uh, I think we are in the like processing phase right now. We're going to need to wait for about 2 days. Once it comes, feel free to apply what you have learned in this video in your possible. Keep in mind, this is going to be uh, just what we have for now. Obviously, once better units comes out in the future, once better Awaken units and whatever soldiers that we will come in the future, those might replace some of these units that we have here. But for now, in C server, this I think is a very good setup or very good benchmark that you can try to like, you know, pick and switch certain characters around depending on how you see fit okay so if you find this video helpful give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as always i'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day goodbye